Hey guys, uh, this is going to be another Minecraft video. This is going to be my five button combination lock from my last video. I'm going to recreate it in an open environment where I can lay everything out nicely so it's easy to see. As opposed to that other one which was put into as small of a space as possible. It really made it counterproductive if you were trying to figure out how it worked. So I'm going to make a second one. This is only going to be three buttons because if I were to make this five buttons it would not be a good idea. It, I w would not be able to fit it in... I, I th Maybe I can fit this in one video. I'll see what happens in editing. Um, I hope this goes faster because I actually know the general layout of what I'm going to do. But we will see. So, here's our first button. I'll explain this after I get this first part in place. And I hope that glitch that was introduced in the beta 1.2 doesn't become an issue. This is an older version. I'm actually connected to a server right now, my own server, so that's why there's no animals. And I, I don't know which version it is. Maybe it's a good version that doesn't have this glitch, but we'll see. Oh. Well, we can hope. Let's see. One, two, three. Okay, so this first part turns a simple on off here it to a very fast pulse of off and on right over here. So this is a pulser, I guess you could call it, and this will be a toggle flip-flop circuit. I will explain that in more detail in one minute. Okay, so we'll see right now if that glitch is going to be a problem. Oh, it looks like it's not. Okay. So you can see right here, you press this button once, and it toggles this circuit to be the opposite of what it... It, it flips it back and forth, basically. So if I were to put an output light right here and ran a circuit all the way back to there. That's our basic... That is the flip-flop circuit. That's how I run these uh, torches. It's a little... It's a lot more uh, compact and complex because it's compact. But uh, you can see how much space this kind of takes up. And I had five of these. So it's really not that complicated. It's just a lot in a very small space. I'll, I guess I'll pause here and then get a good vantage point so you can see. Alright, I'm back from the top of this pile of dirt. It's the morning of the next day. Uh, you can kind of see how this works from here. If you want to replicate this, you should, I guess, go for a s from a screenshot of this right here. 
Uh, this is the button. It sends the signal down this wire. It turns both of these torches off and then on. This wire over here gets turned off briefly. Then when the signal gets through these other three torches, it turns it back on. So it goes off and on for one or two clicks. And uh, then that's that whole system. That's the pulsar. Then over here in the toggle flip-flop, the signal of off goes through both of these torches. Now in this instance, if you were to press the button, it would do nothing to this right torch because it's receiving input from this sideline. But this one sideline is off, so it would turn this torch on and off briefly. And that would flip this little loop I have right here. This little loop will stay in whatever state you put it in. And that's very useful. So right here we have this sideline is on, and because that is on, it goes through this torch and this sideline is off. So if we were to press that button, it would pulse this torch on, it would flip this circuit the opposite way, and this sideline would turn off, that would turn on, and then the next time we press that button, it would turn this torch on, and then it would flip it back the opposite way, or the way it is right now. So... My next task will be building two more of these. I will probably cut the video off right here, and I will come back when there's three of these. Alright, so I'm back, and I have built two more circuits that are just like the first one. So, there you've got your button, and torch, button and torch, and here's the other button and torch. So, as you can see, it's just two more of the same circuit as the first one. Now, unfortunately, oh. the uh, that bug is actually on this version of the server, but it only affected this center circuit. That's It's kind of weird. It only affects some of the circuits that I've worked on another reason I think it's a bug and they'll patch it eventually, but uh, now I get to show you how I got around it in the, my other map. So, right here you see in the pulsar, there's one torch on this side, and on the other side there's a straight line of four of them, and this last one uh, goes to the left. So over here, instead of having one and then a straight set of four, all I did with, with this third one is I just had it go sideways. So instead of just going straight into that one, it went around sideways. Um, that's it. That's the secret. And it made the circuit from not working to working just fine. Didn't change any of the circuitry. I just physically moved it over and connected it. So... I do hope they get around to fixing that because it can actually be a real pain when you don't have any space to move it. Like if it happened to one of these, I wouldn't be able to do anything with it without moving the whole circuit over. So um, it's nighttime. I think I'll come back when it's daytime. But there's the three circuits, and they're all identical except for that one fix I had to do on the central one. Alright, the moon is setting, the sun is rising, and overnight I have constructed this little circuit. Alright, this is going to be the next step in the combination lock. Alright, it's, uh, I'm going to be building three of these, one for each switch. Ooh. And what these do is, only if these are the same will that light up. This torch out here this is the output so over here you can see that, that torch is on because these are both off if they're different that turns off if they're the same it turns on off because they're different on because they're the same so 
you can see where this would come in handy with the combination lock because one would be a setting switch and another one would be the state of the uh, toggle flip-flop. So this is how I figure out whether to open the door or not open the door is with three of these. So today we're going to be building three more of these over here. Now I think the best thing to do here would be to put the setting switches over here. Now the, it's the server, it's weird so they don't actually move but you can tell by the redstone dust being on or off. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to make an overhead line to carry the signal towards the back of the circuit. And I'm going to run out of dirt. And one second. Let me get some more. There we go. Yeah, I should go out one more. There we go. So it's not touching any part of this circuit in here. So this is completely separate. Now we'll wire this in to the switch. Turn it on to make sure. I'm not going more than 15 squares. The 15 square limit that limits scalability of any Minecraft project. Um, hmm. I'm going to actually move this out a little more. Minecraft glitch is getting to be a bit of a problem. See, I, sh I should have put more space in between them, like an extra square. But no. Um. Alright, so we'll keep that, and I'll figure out something to do right here. Uh. Hmm. All right. Now that won't work. Oh no, it will work. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. Okay, so thirteen, that's good for uh, not going over the fifteen square limit, and now we'll create one of this, uh, the XOR gates.